Hey guys, Ben Funderberg, Hey Man Fishing. And on this episode, I'm gonna cover a 100 amp lithium battery that I bought. And um, I'm gonna take a closer look at it and how it's been doing with my fishing. So stay tuned. Okay guys, a real quick word and why I'm using the uh, lithium on the bow. I know some of you's thinking, why don't you just have it on your cranking battery? And that, you know, you, I've read many posts where everybody gets good, good uh, results from that. But I've done a little bit of research and they recommended not putting, they, uh, they recommended not putting a lithium on a marine motor that has a stator. And that's what I got on my boat. Uh, some of the bigger motors, they got the uh, alternators, of course, that's good. But the recommendation was not to use it as you're cranking for uh, a stator. Um, so I contacted my dealership that I bought my boat from they come back and tell me not to even use it. They got a bulletin from Yamaha, a bulletin from Mercury, indicating not to use the lithium batteries uh, as your cranking battery. So I know a lot of people's using them. I don't know if that they that, that bulletin means that, hey, that it's gonna void your warranty. I ain't gonna get into all that. But I'm gonna kind of monitor that, and I'm probably gonna end up replacing my AGM with the lithium, especially, uh, maybe a, a hundred amp uh, lithium just for the cranking and my accessories. So take it for what it is, do your research. But that's what I've been told, that's what I've read. Um, but that's the reason I got my unit, that lithium, that's why I got it up front. Okay guys, to give you a little bit of background on my bow, I got a 12 inch grab and a nine inch grab and that my wheel, I got a 12 inch graph and a nine inch graph. On my cranking battery, I have everything tied to that cranking battery except for that 12 inch graph on the bow and my live scope and the Garmin hub. I've been using this uh, I Ionic and it served me pretty good. It's a 30 amp. I, I like the Bluetooth on it. But in the case, in, in like I was saying earlier, uh, I upgraded to the 100 amp lithium. Um, I ended up with a battery off of uh, Amazon that I've, I've watched many uh, breakdowns where they tear it apart and looked at the battery and done all sorts of tests. And it appeared to me from what I've been reading, it's a good battery. And I didn't want to pay double the price on 100 amp ionic compared to this it's about half the price uh, let's take a look at this real quick so what I did end up buying was a lifetime uh, off of Amazon it's a hundred amp but this this particular battery here is called a mini it's about 35 percent smaller than the standard hundred amp battery but this battery uh, I'm hoping to get good service out of it. Now, this battery don't come with the Bluetooth like the Ionic. So I ended up adding Bluetooth to it. I ended up getting this, uh, it's called a Battery Monitor 2 uh, off of Amazon. And that particular, uh, I mean, on that battery right now, uh, I just took, it took it off, I took it off a charger just a few minutes ago without on my boat. Uh, you can see it's doing um, what 13.98 uh, volts at 100%. So it's fully charged up. Um, and the app, I do like that app that I can use on my phone to monitor that battery. And just for the sake of uh, comparison here on that uh, voltage, let's, I'm gonna put my voltmeter on there. 
let's take a look I'm I'm showing uh, I'm showing 13.96 volts off the app and I want to just compare actually my app with the volt meter I, I got a volt meter connected I'm on put this on the uh, positive side okay so on the volt meter I'm showing 14.02 so you know it's right on uh, no problems with the the voltage test and with the app so the app I pretty much trust what the app's telling me um, so let's go out here on my boat I'm gonna show you a little bit of a setup that I got and um, give you an idea of what I'm, I'm how I got things uh, using that battery I got this in a compartment uh in the front here at the bow i just set it down in there i'm using a uh, uh a group 24 case for this mini 100 and also on the case itself uh i put me a, a master switch on the back of this uh box so that uh at the end of the fishing day i can just cut everything off uh, i got a uh now this is a lithium, you got to use lithium for a lithium battery. Uh, use a lithium charger for the lithium battery. So I got that running out through a small hole at the bottom down here. And I keep this inside the box with the lithium battery. And it fits pretty good uh, on this uh, 100 amp mini. Um, I'm not sure if you probably could get a... Uh, full size 100 amp lithium in this box but I, I do like the size I like the fact that I can get my small uh, this uh, charger in there as well so uh, after getting everything connected uh, you can see how well this battery fits in this case here I put some you can use uh, like those the swimming noodles or you can use insulation pipe insulation I had some left over I got my uh, charger down in the bottom of this box and then I'm using some of this uh, as a cushion to keep the vibration down inside and keep the battery away from that one one wall uh, but it works real good um, and I'm I'm happy with it so yeah I'm gonna test this boy out see how well it does and holding up my uh, uh, graphs Okay, you saw my setup. Let me tell you about that, the application and, and how well it did on the water uh, on a fishing trip. Um, I went out uh, one day this week to test this battery because the, the first time, when I first got the battery, I didn't have a, a Bluetooth monitor to monitor it. I could only bring it back and just test it with my boat meter to get uh, an idea of what where I'm at on the voltage. But with the... Uh, that app that I can do on my phone uh, and see what I got left over on that battery and, and what I got left over on the, the voltage um, on that battery. Um, I come when I, I fished four hours and I ended up with 13.25 uh, uh, volts after four hours and 66% of the battery capacity still on it. So I think I'm doing pretty good. I'm running about nine amps. If I run it constantly, that's running the live scope on my, my wheel and also upper on the bow. And uh, that's on two 12 inch units. Plus, you know, uh, I got a little Garmin hub attached to where all my, everything network. So I think it's pretty good. So what did I end up using? What, 34%? Um, of my battery capacity for four hours so you know you can figure the arithmetic yourself so I should get about 10 hours maybe out of that battery if I run it constantly normally what I do is uh, I put that uh, that wheel unit to sleep and uh, just run that bath if I'm by myself but if I got a buddy or partner with me my plan is to have that that wheel unit up and running for him to look at it while we're fishing with that live scope so I'm hoping this is all going to work out for me. Um, I'm going to try to give you another update and maybe two updates in, in the coming weeks or months to see where this battery is at. So if you're thinking about looking at that battery, like I say, I'm not, 
I'm not endorsing that battery or any of the gear that I'm showing you, uh, but I'm trying it. I'm going to see what it does. And uh, on Amazon, the uh, lifetime is running about 369 with like a $20 coupon, I think, right now. I'm going to try to put all those links, everything that I'm using, in the description. And, um, I don't want to get in, I didn't want to get into the math on amps, how many amps you're using on the loud scope, how many amps you're using on the 12-inch. Uh, a lot of that's already there. Uh, even Garmin's got some formulas that you can use. But for me, uh, I figured up about nine amps is what I'm using all together. There's several guys out there that's already got that. On, uh, on on YouTube that you can figure up your app if you want to get into detail. So I hope you have a good day. I hope this helps you. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, until the next time, God bless all of you.